Mr. Angelieri, it is your claim that the defendant hit your parked car. That's correct. The defendant says, I didn't hit the car, I stopped short of hitting the car, and she has a counterclaim. Her counterclaim is that you said to her when you went out to see the damage to your car, you held her until the police arrived because she was about to leave. And she said, I'm not sticking around, and you, in effect, falsely imprisoned her until the police arrived. Let's start with you, Ms. Griffo. You were driving on what date? I don't know what date it is, ma'am. You don't know what date no, it is? Not. Well... Ma'am, the date was... Sure, uh, no, no, I didn't ask you anything. Yes. I don't know the date I asked her. I don't know what the date was. Okay. The date was January 19th. Okay. It was 7 o'clock at night. Okay. Was it dark or light on January 19th? It was dark. Where were you going? I was going to the surplus store. Speak up, I can't I was hear. going to the surplus store. And is that next to a pizzeria? Yes, it is. What kind of car were you driving? I was driving a Chevy Tracker. It's a little Jeep, like... How old? 2002. Who owns the car? I do. Is it insured? Yes, it is. Was it insured in January of 2018? It was, but, it, well, it, my, my insurance had overlapsed. But it, yeah, just gotten... a second. <laughs> did you have insurance? No, I did not. That's the answer. No, I did not. Not it was in the mail, and they didn't open up the mail, <laughs> and somebody forgot the mail. The answer is... No, I did not. You didn't have insurance. No, I did not. So you're on the way to the surplus store, and I have to tell you something. You see, when that monitor is up there, I always know that somebody has something for me to watch, because the, that monitor is not there all the time. And since you have nothing on your end of the table, the plaintiff on his side of the table has a video. Yeah. And he looks like a reasonably intelligent man, and he looks as if he's not going to play me a circus video that it's somehow relevant to this case, which means that there are security cameras outside, which means that something captured what happened with his car. Do you get it? Yes, I get it. So now we're starting out, you're starting out with two strikes against you. First, you didn't have insurance. And then when I asked you a question, you use uh, it, my insurance overlapped. That's right. a uh, second excuse. So I want you to tell me what happened at 7 o'clock in the evening when you were going to the surplus store. I was looking for parking. I noticed the car was leaving this, the, his parking space, so I stopped, let him, proceeded to let him leave the parking spot. I had to back up, back up to get into the, the parking, you know, the driveway, the entrance of the parking just, just, spot. Just, 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 very slowly. Okay. You pull up, somebody... Right. You pull up. Somebody's getting out of a parking space. Correct. You backed up so that they could exit the parking space. Correct. And then you had to parallel park. Correct. Is that what you're telling me? Don't shake your head. Stand there like a statue. Do you understand? I understand. Perfect. So now you have to parallel park in order to get into that spot, right? And that's not correct. So you let the person out of the parking spot. Correct. You had to move back to let them out because you wouldn't go in front. That means right. they'd have to go around you, right. Right? right? So a normal driver would say, ah, oh, there's a spot. Getting out, I'll pull back. Right. I pulled back, and I noticed his car was behind me. I put on the brakes, and my his car jerked. His car was behind you? In the street. He was in the street, and I was pulling into the parking lot. So he was in the street, and I was going into the establishment, which is on the right of me, and so I backed up. I noticed his car was behind me. I slammed on my brakes. My car jerked, you know, and I proceeded to go into the parking spot. And all of a sudden, I'm getting out of the car to go to the establishment, and this man comes running out, cussing at me, screaming at me, saying I hit his car. I said, sir, there's no way I could have hit your car. I know I did not hit your car, sir, I did not. And so we walked away, he walked away from his car, and he proceeded to look at the front of his car, and he sees this little dent, and he goes, this looks like it's a new little dent. I go, sir, I did not hit your car. And so he walks to the side of the car, and he goes, oh, my God. He started acting out that I hit, made this big dent in his car. And I said, there's no way I could have hit your car and made that dent without me knowing it. I did not hit your car, sir. I don't know what you're talking about. So I proceeded. I was going to argue with him, so I proceeded to go to go in the establishment, and he grabbed my arm, and he held me there, and stayed behind my car so I couldn't leave, and he held me there until the officers came. When the officers came, he, you know, released me, and then I proceeded to, you know, tell them my story, tell the story. Did you give them your insurance? No, because I did not have Do it on me. Did you get a ticket for not having insurance? Yes, ma'am, I did. Did you pay it? Yes, I did. They, I went to the court. But no, but no, but no. No, I didn't, I didn't have, okay. I, I, because? I went to court, showed the judge I had my license now and my insurance. He, he gave me a fine. Because you... Be, right, just a second. He gave you a case. fine because he, he didn't like you? No, See, for, what the happened? for the court you, fees. For the court fees. He gave me a you fine do, for the court fees. You do understand that when you lie, your mouth gets dry. 
Saturday. You do, I mean, I'm not you do understand. Me. You do understand that when you yes, lie, your mouth gets dry.